all off. You take the vanilla. It's her. Here they are. Get them. She's, She's got her. blood on her hands. She's the murderer. You can't There's the one. Us. There's the one who's yes. done it. You did it. Yes. I see one you. You yes. murderer. You can't kill all of us. There they are. It's her. Get them. She. It's you did it, didn't you? There's the one who did Get it. Them. There. You did it, didn't you? I see you. You can't kill you all murderer. of us. You murderer. I see you. You murderer. Well, young Miss Boyle, you know there's a curfew. You don't want some Fritz to shoot you dead, do you? Sorry, sir. Let's get you home. You had another fight with your mum, didn't you? Why don't I put in a good word? Miss, uh, Mrs. Boyle, I've got a young lady out here who, um... I'm sorry. They don't seem to be at home. What? Let me go in. They're not at home. Let me take you to the station for a cup of tea. What happened? Let me in. Best you don't go in, miss. Cup of tea's best. What did she do? What did she do? What, what did she do? And Mum said, you don't have to worry about the train. No one's going on the train. Shut up, Sally. You're a big girl. Stop crying.
Still alive? I wonder if I'm a cat.
Beaten by a girl. <laughs> My beaker, a thermostat, and seven triad. I think I can fix my lamp. Well, that was tedious. What on earth are you wearing? Are you a downer? Bloody you are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Please step away and touch me. Right. <clears throat> no more, Mr. Nice Guy. You don't know the outside, you know? I see right. I'm done fooling around. <clears throat> right. I've had it with you. I don't see what all the fuck is. Right. I'm done fooling around. <laughs> <laughs> you can take your joy in me. You can do wonders with a needle and thread, you know. You're not going to ruin things for the rest of us. Mercy on the elderly. There they are. Right! No more, Mr. Nice Guy! Well, I'm glad all the nonsense is over. There you are. All right. Now I just need to replace all my chemicals. Stuart. I've got to talk to Stuart. Maybe he's got the chemicals I need squirreled away somewhere.
Guess where it's really common? Yes! Yes! Hamlin, that's where! <laughs> full and save the canned food for a rainy day.
same one. Die to cut! Straight it off! Bastard! I suppose I'm tougher than I look. Bloody revolvers. I've got a sunshine somewhere, haven't I? Yeah, I'm afraid we got to the end of our time. Odd. Those peepers weren't there before. Why are they trying to keep people out? Seriously. Don't be afraid to experiment with new food. Living in these times. It's Jack Worthing telling you to keep that lot of food. If it isn't Sally Boyle. Himself is upstairs tinkering. When will he be? It's been weeks now. It's a device you left behind. Apparently, it's quite clever and complex. I just came to buy some chemicals. Over my cold, dead body. Fiona. It's not just borrowing my man while you were here. I could have got over that. It's the ambitions you put into him. Fiona, I'm sorry. He wants to be more than a village chemist. That, I says. Will you go to London to study to be a doctor? Will you take over Aworth Labs? She still wouldn't take you back, I says. But you sold him the stars. And now he can't barely see where he's going. Maybe he liked me because I thought he could be more. Do you ever think of that? Get out of here. Get out, you witch. And don't let the door hit you in the arse on the way out. It's been 
too long. Get out of here. Get out, you witch. And don't let the door hit you in the arse on the way out. Well, she's mellowed. Fiona said Stuart's been working on my old pituitary extractor. Maybe... Maybe I can get it back from him later. When she's not in the shop. Wait. Harry Cavendish. He still works for the labs, doesn't he? And he owes me a favor. I'll drop by his house. Very tall today. Right is right. Right is right. I wish I weren't such rubbish at tinkering. Harry? 
It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Sally Boyle. Well, I haven't seen you in a dog's age. What... What happened to your... eyes? Oh, this little thing. Dr. Hughes miscalculated the brominating reaction and it blew up in my face. Then he convinced Dr. Verloc it was my fault. So I got the sack. That weasel. Oh, you don't have to pretend you're interested in the tedious old lab. How's the glamorous life of an experimental chemist? It's a bit blocked at the moment. Can't get mercury amalgam. Did you know they vent gallons of it onto rat home? Oh, well, you wouldn't. You've moved on to greener pastures. I'm sorry. I thought Anton knew what he was doing. Oh, I don't blame you for leaving us all behind. When love fades, you have to move on. Well, I'm sure you'll figure out where to find some amalgam. Maybe I will. But someone's got to prove it was Dr. Hughes's fault you lost your eyes. You know, you're right. 